So the sauce. All right, today I have Angelo's Eggplant Parmigiana. I'm gonna be trying this out right here. Look at it, it's layers of breaded eggplant slices smothered in vine ripened tomato sauce and three cheeses, absolute. Now I'm gonna be trying this out. So this is the eggplant. That's what it looks like when it's in a skillet inspired by Italiano traditions, no preservatives, okay, eating healthy tonight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to cook this right here. So if I wanna cook it in the oven, it's gonna be preheat for 375 degrees. Remove entree from carton, leave entree and film then, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna cook it in the oven. I'm gonna cook it in the microwave. And it says remove entree from carton. Go ahead and do that. Did that, removed it from carton. What else, what are the other instructions? It says place Play, place, okay, do not vent. Place tray on microwave safe plate. Place plate in microwave. Cook on 100% power for 10 minutos. That's a little bit of French for you guys. Then cook for an additional 10 minutes at five, at 50% power. All right, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a plate and this is carefully after, carefully remove plate from microwave tray will be hot, remove film and let stand for two minutos. Caution, product will be hot. Directions developed using a 1,100 1, watt microwave oven. Cooking times may be, may need to be adjusted. Film may release during cooking. Do not use in toaster oven. All right, so I have that. I'm gonna put it on my microwave plate like they suggest. I'm not gonna vent it. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave right here for 10 minutos. A little bit of French for you guys. So I have it in there for 10 minutos. All right, so it's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. One, Z, row, Z, row, and full power. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, absolutely. All right, 10 minutes went by, and so now I have to go ahead and do it for an additional 10 minutes. 10, but this time I'm going to put it at power level. I hit power level and 50%, okay? And then I'm gonna start. So it's gonna 10 minutes at 50% power, and then we'll be ready to eat. But I also have something else going on right here. I have water boiling right here because with my eggplant parmigiana, I'm gonna add pasta. I'm gonna add pasta to it to complement it. So I'm gonna get that boiling while this is cooking. Absolutely. Right, so it's done. I let it get out of the microwave and it's hot, fresh, absolute. So right here, I have the eggplant parmesan and then I have a bed of pasta. I'm gonna put some papier on it and garlic, or not garlic, olive oil. All right, so I'm gonna pull this back. You can see some of the cheese is actually sticking to the plastic sheet. I'm just gonna take some of the cheese off like that. Nice and cheesy. Look at this, coming close so you can see all that. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep this up. So here's my pasta. I'm gonna put 100% California olive oil. Put some of that olive oil on here, on the pasta, just to give it some flavoration. Absolute goodness. Now look, I'm just gonna pour a little bit on it like that. So once I have the olive oil it, on it, then I'm going to put some cracked black pepper on it, which is kind of an oxymoron because everyone knows black doesn't crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And I have the pepper on here. And then I have the eggplant parmesan. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of 
the eggplant parmesan, absolute. Look at that, look at the cheese. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Who says men can't cook? Look at that, absolute goodness. Eggplant parmesan, we're gonna take a bite of this. Hot. All right, cool it off a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna pat myself on the back on this because I make a really good eggplant parmesan, I must say. Look at it, eggplant all bundled in there, the cheese, the tomato sauce, a lot of flavoration going on right here. The sauce, not overly acidic. The eggplant is cut really thin. So you rest assured you don't have any raw pieces of eggplant. You get eggplant poisoning or as it's cooked all the way. So you don't have to worry about eggplant poisoning. I'm gonna go ahead and try this other bite. I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of pasta. Go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and get this pasta. Get a little bit of sauce on it. So the sauce. And then and have a small piece of eggplant. Go ahead and Spin this out a little bit. There we go. I'll try this bite right here. With the pasta, the black pepper on it adds a nice flavoration to it. Let me get one bite without the pasta. Gonna try this out right here. Now the eggplant parmesan that I made can actually be eaten without the pasta because it's that absolute, but I choose not to. Go ahead, try this out. Look at that, huge chunk. Absolute goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my pasta. Have my pasta and eat it too. Dip this in a little bit more. But that is how you make the eggplant <clears throat> parmesan. Added some pasta on it. Moving and grooving, eating good tonight. Absolute goodness, absolute goodness.